to do something that other people will will look at and maybe enjoy seeing. Uh, it makes me feel good that I can, I have a skill, I have a new skill that I can tap into and do something that the, the, the who knows what the limit is, that I could do anything actually. And uh, I keep volunteering because it's also community, it makes me feel good and I enjoy doing it. I get the satisfaction of doing something positive for the community to uh, giving them some information about what's going on out there to be poor no more. And uh, it's, it's, it's really satisfying to hear people say, I've seen your show. I think just in general is the number of people that have been involved in cable that we've had in our lives. When we first started, if people were short a crew, we'd stay on and help. And I mean, I got to taste a lot of great food from Bonnie when she was doing her cooking show. And all of the staff out here has been so supportive from the start. And we watched them grow and seen all the changes. I think that keeps us going. I was a big fan of uh, Scotty J's Trailer Trash, and I used to watch that a lot. And I thought that'd be a fun show to work on. And then when I saw the uh, advertisement that said you could free free classes and uh, you could do that, I thought that's what I want to do. You know, keep coming back because I the magic of television and. I mean that most sincerely. It's uh, it's really fantastic. It's really creative. There's a lot of great people around here, uh, not just the volunteers, but the staff too. It's a uh, it's a fun, creative place uh, to be. Well, it's the, the it's an amazing an amazing experience. You know, the joy of sharing the word of God just gives me the drive to come back and makes me want to do it over and over and over again. I love this place. As far as I'm concerned, I think this is just an incredible example of what democracy is all about. And by that, I mean having the opportunity to come in, make use of equipment, get your message out on the airwaves. I think it's just an opportunity that not a lot of people really fully understand and take advantage of. So the, the joy of uh, being able to produce yourself and you see how the growth that you have grown being uh, a minister one and secondly uh, somebody that is involved in television is so, it's so, it's so essential that uh, even if I stop coming to NWCT, what has been impacted in me goes with me for the rest of my life. So whether I'm here or not, I'm still a bona fide member of NWCT. And um, what I would like to add is, you know, how how much NWCT actually, you know, it might not seem like, it might just seem like, you know, another TV station, but um, the, the great sig significance of our program, how, how it's so much dependent on NWCT, like, um, you know, how we sh um, ship our programs to other places around the world. And, you know, that's all coming from NWCT. The people here are really dedicated to what they do. It's really fun working on multiple different projects and learning about different cultures and different types of people and different shows and different ideas. There's all sorts of aspects of art and just the medium of cable access for people that would have no, no other way to present themselves or have really these really cool ideas that uh, they wouldn't be able to show otherwise. This is a way for them to show them and for the community to learn about them and just for it to be a small scale medium that can reach large scale audiences. I never imagined actually in my life I'd be doing this. I also, I, I, like I said, I started with painting with Dave. I also paint portraits, pictures like he does. And uh, I, got in, I got invited down here by Dave and I came down to watch, and that's when Judy Homme got me interested in it, and I thought, yeah, I'll try it. So I took the class here, and uh, uh, kind of the en end of the conversation. It's amazing, I have fun, I enjoy it, and that's how I got started, and I'm still here seven, eight years later.